So right now we're installing the linear rails for the gantry. So these are the linear rails right here and just putting them on, set to a specific tightness just so that I don't over tighten. I'll do it by hand after. Oops. Okay. So we'll uh, set the camera up here. And get it, get the rest of it done here. So don't use this on full, uh, make sure you uh, have the gear set so that it kicks out uh, after a certain amount of tension and then tighten it up by hand because I already did break one of the screws. Fortunately they are pretty good guys, they uh, send you a whole bunch of extra screws because they know you're probably going to do something like that. Uh, so fortunately I was able to just swap one out. You do not want to talk to the engineer today. You do not want to just leave a screw out if you break one. Because if you do, uh, each of these screw holes are all spaced a specific amount to absorb some of the shock and force. And this will be a 300 pound gantry when it's uh, all said and done. And 300 pounds moving at uh, 1200 inches per minute is pretty fast. That's a lot of torque, so uh, don't scrimp on leaving out a, a screw. Okay, so we've got that all installed. All these all are, are in here. This is the top rail. Uh, and what you can see here that I've got clamped is just the uh, rail jig. It's to help make sure that the rail is completely flush with where it's supposed to be um, and, uh, and level.